Good afternoon folks and welcome to Fraction Plates. I'm often asked how I can help children in Key Stage 1 understand fractions more and uh, here's a suggestion. Uh, it also helps with time um, and I hope you enjoy it. What you'll need is uh, some very cheap and simply available stuff. Let's take a look. So here we go, basically you need two paper plates contrasting colours the same size and you'll also need a pair of scissors and a ruler and a pen. There's one more thing you'll need, which is a piece of paper with a right angle. Now, place your right angled piece of paper or card on top of the plate, one of the plates, it doesn't matter which, so that the corner, the right angle, exactly touches somewhere on the circumference of the plate. Note where the plate disappears behind the paper and put two little pen marks just where the fingers are showing now. Now what's amazing about those two points is they are absolutely diametrically opposite. In other words, if you were to join them, don't, but if you were, they'd form a diameter. And therefore halfway between those two points must be the exact centre of the plate. Well, my plate is 23 centimetres long, so half that is 11.5. Put a dot, and there's the centre without any folding at all. Clever, huh? Well done. So at the end of all that, you simply have two paper plates with the centre dotted. Uh, next, just draw a line from the centre to absolutely any point you like on the circumference um, of the plate and cut a nice, neat, straight line. Uh, do that on both plates. I normally save time and just cut through both, but uh, you can do either. It doesn't matter. Well, that's it. I know that sounds like, oh, really? Is that all I have to do? And it is, because now if you've got two plates, one behind the other, slit, you can simply rotate and create, it looks like magic, any fraction, that's about a third, there's a quarter, just by twisting one plate one way, one the other, there's a half, two thirds, keep twisting, just keep the two centres aligned, okay, and oh, we're going back the other way now, look at that, very, very simple, it looks like some kind of magic camera trick, but it really isn't, all I'm doing is I'm just twisting the two plates around each other and revealing or hiding. Now you can see the need, why there's such a need for a, a contrast really between the two plates. So that's the basic idea. Now let's move on to uh, thinking about time. Okay now the only difference here is I put some great big thick black marker pen on my two plates, put them behind again, and now I can show you that the uh, two black lines there, one is moving, it's gone past here a quarter of the way, so that's a quarter past. Let's keep going until it's gone halfway. That's half past. Now, the clever thing here is it's in the language, really. If I keep twisting, then you can see it's nearly back at the top. And actually, we can say, how much of it has it got to go? Well, it's got a quarter of the way to go. So we call that a quarter two, and it's very nearly there, and then it hits back up to the top again. So there you go, just a simple, practical, kinesthetic resource for children to think about how fractions relate to clocks and why we have this strange thing called quarter past, half past, and quarter two. There you go. Enjoy. That's all for now. See ya.